Hello and welcome everybody to our weekly, I guess almost weekly at this point, Q&A session with our community. I'm your host Anya here with Restream Team in Austin, Texas, and joining me is Anastasia from Restream Team Europe. Hi there. Hi guys, how are you? Nice to, nice to see you again uh, on our regular show. <laughs> It is definitely getting regular. I'm seeing some people are starting to show up. I see Power Creators, cool name by the way, it says hello, hello there. Um, so this is a very interactive stream that we do every every week or every other week, depending on how things are. And we are encouraging you guys to ask your questions. The purpose of this stream is to make sure that you understand how to use Restream Studio and how to utilize live video in order to reach your goals and objectives, which is something that we'll definitely be talking about today um, in terms of why uh, you would want to use live streaming and how it could be your marketing um, and, and PR tool um, of you know the end of 2020 and hopefully uh, the whole 2021. So please bring in um, your questions to us. And um, yeah, and we will also do a quick demo today showing you the key features of Studio, what's new, what's going on, um, and, and answer any questions. All right, I see Daniel is here saying hello from Chicago. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, let's get started with you guys letting us know where in the world you're watching us from. That would be really good to know for us so we could kind of understand the size of um, our community, how global and international it is. And also, if you don't mind sharing with us, what kind of content do you stream? It's always interesting to see what you guys are doing. So just give us some examples of maybe your latest streams or what do you do regularly or what you're looking to start streaming if you are um, if, if you're kind of just just starting this live streaming journey. So uh, this is going to be really cool. Awesome. Daniel says he's from Chicago. Um, Easy Fix Signals team says hello from uh, from North Carolina. Hi there. Um, hello from Kentucky. Do I read this right? I think it's Kentucky. Um, how do I stream on Instagram? That's the question I will definitely cover today. Um, I see uh, Brenda saying hello from Pennsylvania. Hey, Pennsylvania, you guys are amazing. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, good afternoon for New York. I'm a vlogger. Awesome. Good to meet you. Um, I stream Among Us, drawing, etc. This is really cool. I love streams that are focused on arts and crafts. That That's always really, really interesting to watch. Uh, Daniel Garrett is saying, I use the stream for ministry content. Awesome. That's very, very good. Um, and then there is also laser beam. Can you give me uh, the paid version for free? Actually, uh, we might be able to because we do have, uh, we started to do this like little trivia question for the community today. And if you guys are ready, I see we have about um, a little bit over 30 people here watching right now. So yeah, we will actually ask you uh, a quick trivia question in just a minute here. And the person who answers the question correctly and is the first one to answer that question correctly, will get the 30 days, whole months of Restream Professional Plan for free as a price. So are you guys ready? Let's go ahead and do that. I see Tracy is here. Hello from San Diego, looking to stream to other businesses. That is great, um, great, great topic as well. We will definitely show you how you could utilize Restream Studio to be a remote producer and actually offer your services to other um, clients and other people uh, and basically drive live streams for them. All right, let's do it. Like the quick trivia question of today, ready, drum roll, is what is the size limit for local video file picture in Restream Studio? So if you know, um, if you know, if you if you use Studio before, and this is kind of for advanced users um, today, uh, you probably have seen that feature that allows you to uh, play local video file in your stream. Uh, so if you if you use that before, uh, and if you happen to know, please tell us what is the size limit uh, for for those files if you want to play them on um, on the studio. Um, I see some answers <laughs> coming in. It says, uh, <laughs> oh my God, uh, Deadhead Land Film says too small, LOL. This is, um, this is, <laughs> this is uh, not the right answer, but it's really funny. <laughs> um, then, then there's a 500 megabytes. Um, that is not the right answer. Uh, Laser Beam says five minutes. Uh, that's actually not the size limit, but um, it's, it's actually, even if like we were to convert it into time, I guess if that's even an option, um, it is not. Um, it is not the size limit. There's uh, there's actually interesting um, answer here. Uh, let me top sports. I think or T O V sports says 150 megabytes. That is correct answer for something else. That's the correct answer for upload video in graphics if you want to play a pre-roll 
uh, or end roll, uh, just like we played in the beginning of the show with our little countdown timer for that one. The size limit is exactly this, 115 megabytes. Um, I see the one gigabyte. I see 50 megabytes. I don't know, Anastasia. I feel like this is a trick. <laughs> I question. think I think it was a very tricky question. I think we should share the answer. Uh, I can use the professional plan for free as well for one month. <laughs> um, maybe we can come up with uh, some. Uh, uh, we can come up with something else with some other uh, question in the meantime. Uh, but for to yeah. answer this specific question, there is actually no limit. So if you're playing a local video file uh, and it has no limit, it has no limit in, um, in hours or minutes it, it, it is or the weight of the uh, of the video itself. So basically what happens, you have a we, we play the video from your computer and the browser does the magic work of changing and converting into a standard that is a, uh, acceptable for streaming. And then we just play it in the restream. So <laughs> there's no uh, there's no limit on this. Yep, yeah, it is uh, basically the only limitation that you would have is the capability of your system. So depending on your machine, if you uh, how powerful your computer is, of course, there might be some issues and difficulties with playing like multiple hours, you know, multiple gigabytes video files, just because it's going to slow down your system and like really eat up your CPU. But in terms of limitations on our end, there is none uh, for local video file, and um, and the 150 megabytes is correct for. Uh, for other types of videos. Um, I actually had a backup uh, trivia question because I definitely want to make sure that you know we give away at least one um, one of our um, plans. Uh, so here's the backup question. Was, when was Restream founded? If you guess the year correctly, of what year Restream started, um, you, you will get the, the plan uh, for free. So it is, um, it is going to be the first person who guessed this, this right one months of restream professional plan for free you will need to reach out to our support and collect um to collect your price so let us know when do you think i mean a lot of people here know that we've been around for for a little for bit a while. So, so yeah so um try to guess it again this is the question for the company right like when the company of restream started not the studio product uh which we are talking about today um all right, so there is 2011 that is not the right answer and then there is the first correct Okay, no, it's actually it's actually uh, Dakota. Yeah, it's uh, so I don't know why you put November fifth. <laughs> I mean, I'm 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 not even sure if that's the, but the, the year is correct. You're the first one who corrected uh, who correctly guessed the year. It is uh, 2014. I believe it was either December or November. So you might be even more precise than I thought. But yes, it is definitely 2014. Uh, Dakota, you are the winner. So please reach out to our support and get your free upgrade for Restream Professional for one month. Yeah, finally we have, and look how you guessed it right. You see Brenda really, like really closely after Dakota mentioned 2014. Uh, Power Creator says 2014. Uh, 12 Bale says 2014 as well. And um, yeah, and a couple more that Dakota says, yes, yes, awesome. All right, so um, let's go ahead now when we're done with <laughs> all the trivia stuff and all the fun, let's go ahead and do a quick demo of Restream Studio uh, that I am going to show you um, just just little, you know, steps um, and just kind of quick overview. And, and uh, also just guys, uh, please feel free to uh, drop your questions in chats. We're gonna come, we're just gonna do a my 10 minutes demo and then we'll come back to your questions. I saw a question regarding the stream quality uh, from uh, Power Creators. So we will come back to that for sure. Uh, just uh, keep uh, sending your questions in the chat and while we're doing demo and then uh, we will come back to the questions as well. Uh, Anna, do you wanna show the demo itself? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So if you guys um, added the questions earlier on, uh, please don't hesitate to repeat them and to re-enter them in the chat because we will just quickly run through the demo. Um, actually, we don't even need 10 minutes. It's going to be like three, four minutes. I'm just going to show you, uh, you know, the steps and the buttons, and then we'll just start answering your questions. So please feel free to resubmit the same ones uh, that you um, that you entered earlier. And I'm going to go ahead and share the screen. Apologies for Infinity Pool. It is... Uh, normal. This is happening every time we start. Uh, so you should be able to see my screen. Anastasia, please give me a heads up because I don't see you anymore. I'm just looking at the screen right now. Uh, can you see me okay? Like this, the screen stuff? Yep, yep, yep. All is awesome. Good. Awesome. Um, so real quick here, we're not going to go through adding channels because this is more of an advanced version of our demo. So we'll go straight to 
studio but before we do that just quick uh overview of this uh section on your left so this is your dashboard your main place where you see your destinations and channels that you can toggle on and off uh right here uh, you're looking at events section this is where you can schedule your live streams in advance so for example if i wanted to create an event i could open up this window type out my my very creative and smart description and title i can also update on um, the image i can add um, an image that you know works um remember that in order for the image to work speaking of sizes right it needs to be uh, 1,200 by 720 pixels. Uh, so make sure you resize it; otherwise, it won't be able to pick up. But then, as you as as you have seen right now, it will actually crop it for you to make sure it fits the right size. And then you select the date when you want to go live. Um, you only have seven days of advance notice, so to say, for your community. So be sure to um, to remember that when you're starting, you won't be able to schedule like months and years in advance. This is the limitation of one of the platforms. Uh, but usually, seven days is is about right when it comes to giving heads up to your community. So this is what you'll be able to select, um, as well as your time zone that you can adjust in settings. Uh, mine is, is Chicago, even though I'm actually in Austin, Texas, but it's the same time zone. And then once you hit next, um, you will be able to see all the channels that you have uh, connected on your dashboard. And you can decide which ones you want this event to go into. And then just toggle, um, toggle the right ones on, toggle the wrong ones off, and then hit Create Event. Once you do that, it's gonna appear just like this. This is my Friday live show, my weekly show that I do every Friday. And you will see the thumbnail. Um, you will also be able to access uh, the editing function. Not too much that you can edit, primarily just platforms, uh, because once once the event is scheduled on uh, final platforms, that's, that's kind of final. Um, but you can definitely toggle in and off certain platforms and add some more. You can invite the link for your guests if that's part of your experience. So you can copy it and send it out. Um, and you also, of course, you can delete the event. It will kill it on all platforms. And you can also click on this little icons, which is, I think is really cool because um, I use that feature all the time by like, sending the links to my guests and to my community, um, to all our announcement posts and emails. So as you can see, all those uh, platforms, uh, once you click on them, will land you right on the event page. Um, so uh, another feature um, that you can find here is recording. If you have done streams uh, before, you will see the recordings of your previous streams. If you haven't done them, you won't have much here. But even if you do a little test stream, um, you will be able to access it. And then um, if you click on this kind of play button, you will be able to uh, replay the, the stream. Um, it is a little slow because I'm also live in, in, another, um, in, in another window right now. So um, well, just let's not torture my bandwidth on this. But, but this is typically you'll be able to see the video and play it. You can also download the whole video recording and also download the audio only. This is for those who are using, repurposing their live streams into a podcast, which is something that we do for sure and highly recommend everyone um, to do. So those are the pieces on your left side. Uh, once you enter your live studio, um, real quick here, uh, your main, um, let me see. Let me see my settings. You see, it doesn't know which camera to use. Here we go. I'm just going to mute myself just, just to avoid any kind of echo. So here are the buttons uh, just right behind you. Um, this one is going to mute and unmute your microphone. This one will turn on and off your camera. If it's off, you will see uh, just a little abbreviation of your name. Um, and this one right here is sharing screen. This is exactly what I'm doing right now uh, in, my, in my other window. Uh, remember that when you share your screen, you will have multiple options here. You can share your entire screen, which is probably the easiest thing to do if you don't mind showing everything that you're seeing. That's what I'm doing right now. You can also share an application window. I just don't have any apps open right now, not to stress my system. But for example, if you have um, a keynote or some other application that you want to share, this is how you would do it. And you can also share a specific Chrome tab. As you can see, those are all the tabs that I have open right now. So you can share just one tab. And if you want to share it with sound. For example, if you want to play a video just directly from YouTube or straight from Facebook, and you want people to hear what the video sound sounds like, the, the music, uh, make sure you check this box and then click share. Uh, the local video source uh, is that uh, first question of trivia that we had today. It allows you to open up a local video directly from your computer and basically uh, play it as part of your live stream experience. So as you can see here, this is one of our Instagram story videos. And if I toggle it in, you can hear the music and you can still hear me talking over it. Um, 
you can also stop it at any point. Uh, the beauty of this feature is that the, this local source file doesn't need to be uploaded in advance or at all. It just plays directly from your computer and we just capture it from there. So because of that, there is no limitation on the file size or any other duration or anything like that. So you can play anything here, uh, which which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, here we have um, your settings. Uh, we have your uh, video input. So this is your camera, your video resolution. You can select to stream in full HD, high definition or standard definition, depending on your preferences. And just remember that not all platforms support full definition. Uh, Facebook and YouTube do. Um, LinkedIn will shrink it. And so we'll do Periscope and several other platforms. So just be mindful of that and double check. Uh, but this is this, this are your options. Your audio input is your mic. You can select, um, you know, external microphone uh, or or your headset. Just make sure that that's the one. And you can also test it here, as you see, uh, when I speak. Uh, there's this little green line, so you can see that your your audio is picking up. Just just to make sure that you know people can hear you before you go. So you don't have to do this thing like, hey guys, can you hear me? Is everything okay? Is this audio good? Um, and your output is your headphones. Um, and of course, there's some other advanced settings such as echo cancellation and noise suspension, which we highly recommend, and also steer stereo audio input. So it makes your uh, music or sound uh, to appear in stereo versus mono, which is something that I do um, every time I stream. Here on your right, you have your chat section where you can display chat comments right on your stream. This is something that we'll be doing in just a minute here with you guys uh, with your questions. Your caption section allows you to show pre-set, uh, ready-to-go captions. Um, a lot of times it could be a call to action, such as, for example, follow us on Twitter. It could be um, some important information, like this is the link where you can find out more about studio, or it could be a trivia question, or even just kind of sections of your stream um, if you want to kind of break, break them down between, okay, so this is the demo, this is the questions, uh, this is the question we're talking about right now. Because remember, a lot of people experience a stream not from the very beginning to the very end. They might be joining in the middle of it. So it's kind of good to orient them and tell them what's going on. Um, your graphics section allows you to upload custom logos, um, your overlays, like this is fun with pumpkins that we still have from Halloween, a little left over. Uh, you can create those custom overlays. Just make sure that you leave most of the space transparent so you can see yourself or your guest. Uh, your videos are also customizable. You can add any video uh, here. This is where we have a limitation of uh, 150 megabytes because these are like literally shorter pre-rolls, end rolls, uh, customizable videos. As you can see, I have my little intros for my Friday lives. And we also have some templates like the ready to go counters and just you know generic uh, videos. We have backgrounds, uh, which you will see when you have either two boxes, when you screen or when you have a guest, or if you just untoggle yourself. So as you can see here, I can select um, any kind of background. And then whenever I'm, I'm ready to toggle things in, they will appear uh, with that background behind. Participants names are adjustable. You can have them on or off. And you can also um, add specific colors for, uh, for your graphics. And the last section is setup. Uh, that's where you can final check your title, your description, and the destinations in case you're going live just directly from the studio. This section will not be available for you if you are starting a stream from events, because in that case, we assume that you already preset your title, your description, and your destinations. Um, so that is it for the quick demo. Uh, let me actually just close this all thing real quick here, and I'll go ahead and stop sharing. Uh, and I see there are a lot of a lot of questions <laughs> in the chat. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I think I will have to go a little bit back. So I think I answered a few questions as well while you were demo uh, showing the demo. So um, awesome. Yeah, so I, I think that, mm -hmm, maybe Gabriel. we can start even from the top. And if guys we missed some of your questions, please drop them again to the top. Uh, so. All right, so let's go ahead and so I see that Gabriel's question about when I stream on Facebook, can you tell me where else the video streams? An example, uh, does Restream have a main site where other users can see my videos? Um, you have answered that already, correct? With yeah, so basically Restream is not the platform uh, where you can see the street, other people's streams. We only broadcast your stream. So uh, we are the... Um, if you want to stream to social to your social channels like Facebook, YouTube, 
Twitter, Twitch. It, there's no more need to change to, to choose which one you want to stream to. You just stream to all of them, and you can do it with the studio with the restream. Uh, we just don't show, we don't collect, we don't store that information on your video at all. Uh, so it's it, it goes to your end destinations. We we don't host it anywhere. Well, except for the recordings where we will keep the copy of the your video that you can download and then repurpose. But yes, for other people to access your video, it has to be through end platform. So whichever you can, whichever channels you connected, that's where they will be able to find your video. Uh, Gabriel is asking, how do we see the resolution of the streaming to each platform? That's a great question. Um, I would say the best way is just to check um, individually the platforms that you want to go to. Um, I know that Facebook and YouTube do allow uh, full HD. Uh, while LinkedIn will um, actually shrink it to standard um, HD, I believe, like just a standard high definition versus full full high definition. Uh, and and Periscope or Twitter would do the same. But if you have any other specific platforms that you want to understand what is the, like the standard resolution for the video, uh, just, just let us know and we'll definitely check it for you. But usually that information is available uh, on the end platform. So yeah, let, let us know what specifically, um, which platform specifically you're looking at. Um, all right. Just turn in, um, slow down, you're going pretty fast. If that was about the demo, you can definitely come back and like rewatch it. We're just trying to make sure that we get through all the questions today. So that's why we're trying to, you know, to bring you as much value as possible. Um, and there is a question from Visible Dark again. Uh, sharing application isn't working for me anyhow. Uh, does not open applications. I'm chatting with your support about it. Okay, so um, again, it depends on the application, of course. I'm not sure that every single application in the world would be support it. You also need to make sure that you have the application um, open, like your file open. Like it's not going to offer me to open anything in Keynote, for example, unless I have a Keynote file open. And only if it's already there, then I can share it. Uh, but yeah, definitely check in with, your, with our support just to make sure that in your specific case, in your specific setup, uh, this is not something that uh, nothing is wrong on our end. They are usually very helpful. Uh, they respond within Five minutes, right? What is our average response yeah. time? Yeah, 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 less less than five, three minutes, three, usually three, four minutes. Awesome. Um, and there is also a question about my live streams. Um, my live streams, the Facebook chats do not display. Uh, I had it streaming uh, to YouTube and Facebook, but only YouTube comments showed in the chat window. That is also that does not sound like something that should be happening. Um, so uh, definitely check in with our support so they look at your specific setup. Because as you can see right now, we are taking questions from YouTube and Facebook simultaneously. So they do come through. That's the idea. In this chat section, you should be able to see um, all of the comments. Also note that there is a special chat application within Restream ecosystem. Uh, let me actually go ahead and share my screen and show you how to find it. Um, mm -hmm. Let's do this. Um, so right, let me hide your comment real quick here. Um, so right here, if you click on this multiple dots, right, like you will see chat application. And if you open this link, um, I'm opening it in a new tab, but you don't have to do it. Um, you can download the chat application for your computer, I'm on Mac, so it's going to automatically detect your operational system. Or you can open it in browser. And if you do that, um, let me show you how it's going to look. So you will be able to see your chat, um, you know, opening here. And then once the messages start coming in, you will be able to see them. Um, so that's just another way to make sure um, that that your chat is there and it's visible. Uh, just you know, just something to check in. But if you if, if uh, your messages are not coming through. If you see them on end platform, but you don't see them on Restream dashboard, that is definitely a good reason to go and check in with our support and make sure everything is set up correctly. Um, Just FYI, not every Facebook page would uh, would uh, would uh, take the comments as well because uh, we will show the chats. Uh, I think that depends on the Facebook platform uh, you're going to. So I would recommend uh, if it's a private page or something like this, the, the chats may not be appearing. But for sure, uh, support should know uh, should should be able to help you there. Yeah, because it sounds like something specific for your setup, something individual. Tracy here is asking, can you show how to switch screens again, like moving the two of you around the screen? Do you mean this one, Tracy? Let's see, this one? If that's the one, uh, it is super simple. It is just drag and drop. So literally when you are in the studio, this is something that only host can do. So guest doesn't mess with you when you are trying to be serious and do something productive. But you as a host can at any moment of time just drag and drop, and that applies not only to the guests, but the same will happen to your shared screen. Like here, for example, you see I share, I'm share, i sharing my screen, and I can 
switch it and swap it with Anastasia and with myself. I'm personally more used to this kind of layout, so I'm just going to come back to it, but it is very simple drag and drop. Um, so that's that's how you do it. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's so many questions coming in. Um, let's see. So there's something about stream glitches. Again, um, we would probably need a little bit more information about what exactly is happening. Uh, and if this is something standard, some, some known issue that we can help you out with, we'll be happy to do so. But a lot of times, if it's something very individual to your setup, the best way to find out what's going on is to reach out to our support. So they investigate specifically with your user ID, specifically with your case and with your setup with your encoder. I actually just shared also the link uh, on how to, so basically glitches or any issues during the stream, uh, the most common user, the most common uh, reason for this is your internet browser, your CPU, your settings, or your devices. So, <laughs> since there's a lot of things that can go wrong, uh, uh, there's a lot of playing moving parts. There's there's some things that needs to be checked. I just shared in the, our chat. I just shared the link to um, a quick troubleshooting guide. Uh, it's easy to check if you're streaming through the studio. Uh, when when you're online, when you start streaming, you can run in your browser the uh, this test, and it will show you where the issue is coming from. Is it the glitches are coming because of the internet or your CPU? So this is the first thing I would check. Um, and then if this is uh, OK and this is working correctly, then it's a good time to uh, reach out to our support. Uh, I think uh, for sure we noticed uh, that also equipment influences your uh, stream quality. Uh, for example, if you are our last few our last streams, uh, Anya was using a different uh, web camera and there was a small delay between uh, audio and video. Now it's all fixed, but uh, it's just the it kind of the equipment as well. And then from there, if this is uh, also check the uh, definitely we can then investigate more with our developers and see if there's anything we can uh, implement in a larger scale fix. I hope that helps. Uh, and also uh, in general, if you're streaming for sure, turn off any of your VPN, any heavy application, anything that can interact with your and or eat up your bandwidth for sure. Awesome. Uh, all right. So the next one that I wanted to point out is this one here. Um, question, is there a way to delete pre-written captions by restream? So uh, great question. Um, let me show you real quick here. So if you are uh, in the caption section right here, right, um, you can not delete the two that we have preset. Like those default captions are not going to be deletable. But the ones that you created yourself, you can always just click on that cross and and, and remove them. So that's um, I hope that answers your question. It was pretty pretty easy one. So yeah, the ones that that we have preset, you can do it, but there are only two of them. Um, and uh, yeah, everything that you created later on, you can always cross them out, um, so, and so you can get rid of them. Um, so Daniel is saying I use Restream every morning. However, the monitor doesn't always show a pic a picture. Um, is there something on my end that I need to change? Um, all right, let me see. Um, I am actually, uh, let me open the monitor, like the live streaming monitor right here and for this particular stream. And yeah, so actually, uh, I think due to the recent changes, uh, we it was a few weeks ago, um, we wanted to rebuild this completely. So I think what can be uh, uh, happening here, you just need to press refresh the page <laughs> and it would update the, um, it, it should update the count because um, it, it kind of shows the, a little bit retrospectively at the moment. So what happened? So um, you would need to refresh the page to see uh, monitor screen. Interesting, because I'm seeing uh, right now when I was going uh, into the monitor section, it actually opened the analytics uh, tab for me and it's showing me the sessions and, you know, like with like the, the analytics um, in, in real time, but it does not show me the monitor. So it's um, actually something that we might be, uh, you know, double checking uh, and we'll have to come back to this because, yeah, there was so, some changes and some new features and some uh, recent pushes uh, that we uh, that happened in the past week. So it, it might have affected your monitor. So we'll definitely get back to you on this one. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Thanks. Thanks for asking. That's that's a good question. Uh, let's see. So where is our next one? All right. I see that some questions were already answered. And 
Oh, I also see uh, questions from uh, Mamzelle regarding the Smashcast. <laughs> we just sent a notification today, just about a few minutes ago. So we're not removing, we're removing it from a standard uh, platform, I think, because we haven't seen so much uh, traction with the platform. Um, and again, uh, removing one platform allows us to add additional new platforms that are more popular and bigger. Uh, so it's always the process of uh, revising um, uh, like what we have, what we not. Uh, the Smashcast is still will be available until 22nd of November. And um, from there, you can still add it, but just through customer or TMP. Awesome, All right, good to know. Um, and then there's the Instagram question from EasyFix Signals team. They started with this question earlier on today. Let's go ahead and answer that. Anastasia, if you don't mind uh, taking this one. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, so yes, yeah, so of course, uh, uh, Instagram is a little, streaming to Instagram is a little bit tricky. So Instagram protects their API, and they don't necessarily want us to um, to stream it. But there is a way. Uh, like we know, there's external application being developed, uh, which is called Yellow Duck, um, that allows you to create a stream key for Instagram. Uh, it opens a window of two minutes where you can start your stream. Uh, so in order to start streaming with, to Instagram with the restream, you need to download also Yellow Duck. Um, and um, as well as other, so in, um, added as a customer or team P channel uh, in your restream account, uh, as well as other destinations and start a stream. So you will use the Yellow Duck uh, application to get the stream key from Instagram and use a customer or TMP in the restream to um, insert it. Awesome. All right. So um, yeah, lots of great questions today. You guys are amazing. And um, yeah, lo I'm loving it. Tracy is saying, I was told that the upload speed should be at least 10 uh, megabytes per second, uploading, upgrading my internet. Uh, so we always say the same thing kind of over and over that there's very little room for bad internet connection in the world of live streaming. So your internet connection, the, the fastest, the better, the more chances uh, are that your experience with live streaming will be as good as you uh, could possibly imagine. So there are two things that I definitely recommend doing. First, make sure that you know you get the best internet that you can afford that is available in your area. And uh, in the upload speed is exactly the key. The download speed doesn't matter that much because you're sending the information, the data out, not downloading it as if you were downloading a movie or a picture from internet. So this is exactly the measurement that you will be looking at. Another thing to remember is uh, Wi-Fi versus wired connection. For example, I am on wired internet right now. And that definitely, since I started to do that, that changed my game big time. I got myself relatively inexpensive uh, dock, like a small dock where I, that I could uh, connect the wired internet to, and it's also charging my computer. It also has a bunch of USB ports where I can connect my cameras, my, my microphones and things like that. Um, and because wired connection is much more stable, it doesn't have those ups and downs like Wi-Fi would, uh, it does improve the quality of your video and audio. So definitely consider getting cabled and wired when you are live streaming and definitely get the best upload speed possible. Internet is literally the most important thing and investment that you can make. A lot of people say audio is more important than video. If you, you know, the general standard Logitech web camera will do as good of, of, of a job as, you know, the best DSLR possible, you know, as long as you know how to use it and as long as your content is valuable. But the one thing that you should definitely think about investing in is your connection because that is the key. No connection means no stream. So yeah, definitely, um, definitely good point here on upgrading. Uh, here is a question from uh, Power Creators. Uh, is there any way you could have more than one channel in your stream? Um, so I guess um, if, if I understand the question correctly, uh, are, you, are you talking about multiple inputs, like multiple video inputs or um, like kind of mul multiple scenes coming into your stream? If that's what you're asking, please feel free to elaborate on that a little bit um, in, in your next comment. Because right now within the studio space specifically, you only have one video input, plus you can have your guests, of course, during your stream, plus you can have your share screen or the videos that you can upload as, as a video file. But in terms of camera and live, live stream input, it's gonna be just one right now. If you are looking for more, there is an option to use Restream as OBS, which has multiple inputs. Um, and I believe there are several other like, kind of like more sophisticated encoders that allow multiple uh, video and stream ingests. Uh, if, if that's what you're looking for. Um, something that the gamers would use, right? Like when they capture the game uh, and also capture their own video. Um, so if, if you're looking for multiple ingests uh, for your for your video, you know, definitely um, 
look at what you can pair with Streamways. But for the studio, primarily it's one, um, it's one channel. But feel free to correct me if I didn't I, if I didn't get your question correctly. Um, good one from Daniel here. Can you record and live stream in the studio at the same time? Yes, you can. This is what we're doing right now. As we are live, once you click the go live button in studio, it immediately starts recording your video. And once you're done, you can come back and download the recording just like I showed you earlier during the demo. So, <clears throat> excuse me, by streaming, uh, you are automatically doing the recording and it happens at the same time and you don't have to remember to hit recording. So we do it. Uh, for you. And depending on your plan, we will store that recording for either 15 or 30 days. All right. Um, so there is a question from go to um, Raymond G Live, which is regarding, um, it's kind of a lengthy question. So I'm going to uh, kind of read it out loud for you guys. Uh, and it's, this is uh, good to see you again. Good to see you too. I was curious if you could speak on using OBS and Vimeo uh, while also using Restream. How would it would it make it harder or easier using those platforms? And how would they integrate? Anastasia, would you like to take this one? Yeah, sure. So um, we do support using OBS as well as uh, we do support integration with the email. Um, it's it's true that uh, OBS is a little bit harder platform to navigate, so it's a little bit more uh, um, more advanced per se. But at the same time, it allows you much more functionalities uh, as well. So it allows you to um, maybe have a two screen to have a green screen. It allows you to have uh, two camera inputs and etc. So it allows you also. Uh, instead of different settings and then again play around more with the quality with settings with what's going on in the stream with captions and so on so the studio is a little bit um, easier tool to start and start using and obviously the functionality is a bit less um, uh, Vimeo is also with support uh, integration with Vimeo uh, Vimeo allows you to have uh, I, I think the, the most common use case is when you start streaming to your website uh, and you would like to avoid ads uh, that are YouTube, ha YouTube has, uh, et cetera. So in this situation, you will use Vimeo. Um, there's not really a good answer which one is better to use. I, I suppose it uh, uh, depends where you are with your live streaming journey. Um, also, some specific streams, like for example, game planes, would require you to stream from OBS uh, because OBS just does a better job of capturing the screen um, as well as sound and things like that. Um, yeah, um, I guess I suppose just try it out. Uh, uh, start off with Studio, uh, test it out, and then if you feel the need uh, rising, then go go back to the OBS or something else, some additional features. Yeah, so the entry barrier for people who don't have a lot of editing skills uh, and video production skills or studios, of course, a lot lower. It's a lot easier to get started. It's very simple, as, as we showed you earlier. But of course, if you want super sophisticated functionality, that's when you would want to start looking into more professional video editing encoders. So I guess it kind of boils down to the question, how do you use live video? Is this something that you use for super professional, where, where video quality and video production is the most important element of, of your setup, uh, then of course you might want to look for additional encoders with additional functionalities and features. But if you're using Restream Studio or live streaming in general as a marketing tool, where the most important part thing is your message, clarity, professional look and feel, but also ease of use, then Restream Studio would be uh, the answer. Definitely something that I choose for myself because um, even though you know I, I can totally use Restream as other encoders, but it's a lot. Um, uh, it's it's definitely a lot easier to get started. All right, um, so I see there are a couple of questions here. Um, this one is from Christian. Let me see. Christian is saying, I started to use Restream uh, weeks ago. I, I, I sent a produce signal via NDI. I use Blackmagic Mini to capture uh, from another computer, and I like uh, this Stream Studio for encoding at the end. And Christian also mentions as a follow-up, I would like NDI implementation on Restream Studio. It would be great. It's actually really interesting because I started to, uh, we just got ATM Mini, uh, the kind of like the control deck. Uh, we're experimenting with this today. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, we'll let you know what we find out. Uh, thanks for your recommendation. The NDI sounds like uh, sounds like an interesting idea. Not something that we have today, uh, but definitely, um, yeah, definitely something that we could um, explore in the future. 
Uh, and Scott here says about Yellow Duck. I tried to use Yellow Duck to go live on Instagram and it did not connect. Um, need to try again. Uh, do we? Do we? So Yellow Duck is a third-party application. It's not something. Yeah. That's part of our um, ecosystem. So there's not much control over it uh, on our end. Uh, but we will definitely uh, try to connect with their team uh, if we can. I, uh, I appreciate you, Scott, bringing this up. Uh, we will definitely have a look at, into this. Uh, if there's an issue, we'll we'll see what we can do, um, and maybe even look at some alternative. Um, you know options of how to connect with Instagram, but um, yeah, thanks, thanks for sharing this. This is really good to, it's really good to hear. I was just about to say the same. Uh, Yellow Duck is a third-party application, so it's and it's a little bit of a bypass, so it's kind of on your own risk. We haven't heard any users being complaining about Yellow Duck, uh, but at the same time. Uh, it, it is what it is. Instagram API is a little bit uh, restricted. So uh, streaming to Instagram as well as other platforms could be a little bit tricky at times for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So I see that there is, you know, another smash uh, smash cast question. I see you guys have um, have already responded. We, we have responded to this one in the chat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Uh, I did uh, uh, there was a regarding the smash cast as well. And I, just again, as I was mentioning, that we, we definitely took a lot of uh, things into consideration when deciding uh, which platform we integrate with, which platform we um, remove from our supported list. Uh, and I think we just seen other platforms being more popular these days. So, um, as again, you can still use Smashcast with the customer or TMP uh, link, uh, and it will would you we will continue support through that going forward as well. Awesome. Uh, uh, Anna, do yeah. you think like we should do? Oh, we, there's more questions left, or how do you feel like uh, yeah, time for the discount uh, soon, or how do you feel? Yeah, there is a couple more that I definitely wanted to address. There is one from Visible Dark. He's asking to demo uh, sharing application. I'm going to do it real quick here because I think because he mentions that he's having issue with that. So let me go ahead and share my screen um, real quick here. Hmm. Um, you know what? Yeah. So let me open the, the window with the with the presentation deck first. So what I'm doing right now, I'm not sharing it because if I share a full screen, well, actually, Maybe maybe I still can do it. Let me let me try it this way. So sharing the whole screen for now, and then I'll I'll kind of start over with the specific application. So here's what I do. I would go and first open my keynote presentation. Let's do this restream copy thing, right? So I'm gonna make sure that I open it first. It's opening. Sorry, it's a little slow. Today, okay. So here's um, here's my presentation, right? That we're talking about um, restream here, and just gonna close it real quick. And again, stop sharing because now I'm gonna share that specific application. So I'm just gonna click on share screen, select application, um, sh uh, share share application window, and one of the options that I have there would be sharing my my keynote. You know. So um, let me quickly get back to this. So now I'm selecting um, just restream, share, share the application, and this is what, what happens when I, when I share it. So and in this case, um, I can even do something like this. So I can play the whole slide, right? And I can just show, show you Ooh, the slides. I think I, I can only see you. <laughs> I don't see this, the shared window. Oh, you didn't see the shared window anymore? Interesting. Mm. No. Can you, see it? can you see it right now? Nope. I still only can see you. <laughs> really weird. Oh, maybe. Okay. I see. I didn't toggle it in. Sorry about that. That was the problem. Here we go. How about now? Yeah. So you yeah, need to toggle, perfect. You need to toggle, yeah, you need to toggle this in, and then you can show. Um, you can show your slides, and you can even click play, and then uh, you can kind of like full screen, full takeover, um, your slide and your presentation. So this is this is how I would share my keynote, and you see when I when I um, what happens when I close the window? It kind of like just freezes here because once once the application is not open, it just stops sharing. Like it only shares that application and nothing else compared to sharing your full screen or your Chrome tab uh, that that when, when it captures like everything or or everything in that specific tab. I hope, uh, yeah. So the moment when you couldn't share the application was because I didn't toggle it in. So it was definitely user error right here. So I, I just needed to toggle it in 
and I kind of like jumped the gun and started showing the slides before. So yeah, let me um, let me know if that helps. Uh, let us know if that um, if that fixes your situation. Definitely reach out to your support um, if if it doesn't. And um, okay, so I see Gabriel here is saying I see there is a little bit of a video delay versus audio. Uh, how would you go about solving this? Uh, is that something that you're seeing right now with us, or is it something that you are experiencing when you're streaming yourself? Because there's so. Yeah, I think there's a was a small uh, for some time there was a small delay between your audio and video, and I think to be honest with you, I think that was connected because you muted yourself and then you went unmuted, so it could be a synchronization issue. So I think for us it's fixed. So it just took a few minutes and it fixed itself. But in case you are experiencing this issue and it's not fixed by itself within a few minutes, so the way to go about it is to um, reload your page, uh, reload your browser page. Um, so what it will do, it would just allow the system to resync again. Uh, that said, you can still go back into your um, event and you can still stream there. So we don't disconnect your stream. Uh, but reloading of your browser page will allow you to um, adjust this uh, syncing issue, this uh, resync, basically. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Another thing to keep in mind for us, uh, because I am hosting the stream, right? Like, so the stream goes out from my system. I also have a couple of extra tabs open because I was demoing things, which which also take a little bit of power from my computer, and I also have. Um, just right now uh, to demo the application, open my keynote and like did the share application thing. So all of those things definitely put a little bit of stress on your system and that could cause a little bit of a delay. Um, if you're, if that's part of your regular live stream experience, then you know maybe open those things in advance and try to open only the tabs that you absolutely need to have open um, because more tabs you have, like more chances uh, that that's gonna overstress your system and, and cause some desyncs and delays. Um, there is a go to Raymond G asking what kind of dock are you using for your wires? Um, this is actually Cal digit and I'm going to uh, send the link <clears throat> and the link to uh, this video where I would uh, describe my whole setup because uh, one of my team members. Yeah, it was a really great doc that, that they made. They created uh, we even have a photograph where like we have the whole setup and then we have like the little arrow saying like this is this camera. This is this microphone. This is this uh, little deck and stuff. So I will definitely share that picture and that um, description with the links with you and in the in the comments because a lot of people ask what exactly is the setup that you have because it works you know it works pretty well in general. All right. Um, so what else? There's some added mini comments. Daniel says it's on my shopping list. I think it's gonna it's gonna be a pretty cool Christmas present. Um, and I. And I see. Um, yeah, I feel like uh, when, when there's uh, with COVID, there is no way to go out. <laughs> at least I feel stuck there at times uh, at home. So uh, definitely, I would invest more into uh, my audio and video, so I can um, go live. At least meet people online. <laughs> at least uh, not just uh, being stuck at home. Yeah, uh, and I think like uh, it's definitely time for the discount. Uh, I think uh, our questions are most of the questions are answered. If you guys have uh, more, uh, uh, um, yeah. oh, Daniel Kara said that we keep missing his question. So just push it again, and we will uh, answer. But uh, maybe we can still anyway show the discount so that people can start. To, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I just wanted to real quick while Daniel is typing up his question one more time. I'm, I just wanted to make sure uh, there is a question. Uh, other ways to contact Restream for people who might have questions after the stream. Yes, please contact our support. There is a chat window in your uh, lower right corner. We have 24 seven support team for those who are just joining us there. Those people are always there and they will answer any questions, troubleshooting, onboarding, uh, feature requests, specific issues that you have with your setup, anything, please let us know. So there's definitely a way to contact us after the stream is over. This is not your only space and time to ask questions. Please, uh, feel, please feel free to do that. All right, and while Daniel, please uh, feel free to, add, because I know we answered a couple of your questions already. Uh, please let us know which one was the one that we missed um and in the meantime let's go ahead and share the discount so we have a very special one for you today and it's going to be 20 percent off any plan plus extra bonuses to get started it's going to be redemo re 11 and i am also going to share um a specific link with you guys um so you can just click it uh, let me let me open it 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the discount is basically for uh, all of you guys who don't have plan yet. So this is for first purchases or upgrades. Um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, in order to open up a more functionality with Studio, for example, with professional plan, where you can get um, all these overlays, you can have the uh, recordings, um, branding, your own branding, um, definitely it's something that you can consider it's upgrading. Or maybe if you haven't used our paid plan yet, this is a time to start uh, uh, to try it out um, and give it a go. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so feel free to um, do we have any kind of limitation on how long this uh, this promo code is going to be available? Yeah, it's only one week long. So until our next demo, basically, uh, which will happen uh, next week. Uh, and but the next uh, next week demo will be a little bit more for uh, beginners. So for people who haven't streamed yet, so we will talk about how to add channels and how to uh, like how to go live, maybe a little bit more simpler demo is yeah. kind of starting from the scratch <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely and um i think we are going to keep our good tradition of doing a little giveaway uh for trivia questions so keep an eye on that we'll definitely be um giving you an, an opportunity to win free restream plans as well as uh this kind of t-shirts that we're wearing last last week we actually did um did a prize for the first person who uh, redeems or activates this promo code that you're seeing right here, uh, gets a goodie bag that includes this t-shirt and that really cool bag that you see on my background right there. Um, so we are actually going to keep this tradition this time as well. So if you happen to be the first person to activate this code, we will send you the t-shirt. Um, we'll send you a little form where we'll ask for your size, your preference in color, and also um, you know package, package the thing for you. So yeah, uh, just, just a little something for those who are extremely active and activating the um, the code right away. Cool t-shirt. Uh, yeah, and I think Ina mentioned it uh, really well last time. If you already have our plan, so find a friend who doesn't yet <laughs> and then just share, uh, share the activate, with, uh, share the code with them, activate them, and then uh, come back to yeah, us so that we can give you the t-shirt. Uh, request the t-shirt. Little hack, little workaround right there. Little That's workaround. Cool. Well, thank you so very much, everybody. I'm um, just going to give like a couple more seconds uh, for for Daniel's question to pop up. If it doesn't, uh, you know, if it doesn't appear, no worries, Daniel. Feel free to either reach out to your support, and they will be able to help you out there, or leave a comment to our um, to this stream on YouTube because we are coming back to those comments. We are sharing helpful links, just like this time I'll be sharing my setup and a couple more. Uh, helpful links about Instagram uh, and and other questions that we covered today. So if you if you type up your question in the comment, I will definitely be coming back to you today and responding to it. Or twenty four seven support, five minutes wait time as as maximum. So they will be also there for you. Uh, well, thanks thanks everybody. You guys were amazing today. I hope you have the, a wonderful rest of your week and rest of your day, depending on what time zone you're in. And I think other than that, Anastasia, it is time for a high five. Yay. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Yay. One, two, and two, three. Three. Boom. Yay. We actually got it this time. Woohoo. Yeah. We're, we're getting there. We're getting spot there. on. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank okay. you, everybody. And Thanks, guys, for watching. Wonderful. Talk to you soon. Bye. Cheers.